and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerride.com. In this video, we will be dealing with problems on partnership. Now, this topic is very frequently asked in various bank exams, management entrance exams and government exams. So the main motive of this video is to make you aware of the, all the, almost all the concepts which are used in the chapter partnership. And by the end of this video, you would be in a comfortable position while dealing with the problems from this chapter. Now let's get started. The first question. Anupam and Bhavik invested in a business in the ratio 1 is to 3. If 10% of the total profit goes to charity and Anupam's share is 1200, what is the total profit? We don't know the total profit, so we can assume total profit as 100. We know that 10% of the total profit goes to charity, so only 90 is left. And out of 90, Anupam's share would be 1 by 4. Just because Anupam and Bhavik are sharing in the ratio 1 is to 3. So 1 by 4 or, uh, into 90, that is 22.5. Anupam's share we have got 22.5. Now Anupam's share is 22.5. The total profit is 100. So according to unitary method, Anupam's share would be 1200. Then the total profit would be 1200 into 100 by 22.5. So the answer comes up to the total profit being rupees 5333.33. Second question, Anupam, Bhavik and Chandni put in rupees 5000 for a party. Anupam subscribes rupees 400 more than Bhavik and Bhavik rupees 500 more than Chandni. Out of a total profit of 3500, Anupam receives how much? Now, we have to calculate everyone's contribution in terms of Chandni's money. So Chandni's contribution is in terms of, can be assumed as X. Now we clearly know that Bhavik has contributed 500 more than Chandni, so x plus 500, Anupam 400 more than Bhavik, so x plus 500 plus 400, so x plus 900. Now we would add all these three contributions and the total money which has been put for party is 5000, so x plus x plus 500 plus x plus 900 goes up to 5000. Now 3x is equal to 3600 and we get the value of x to be 1200. Now Bhavik has, this is, this is what Chandni has made contribution. Now Bhavik has made 500 more than Chandni, so it would be 1700 for Bhavik and uh, 400 more than uh, Bhavik is Anupam, so 2100 for Anupam, we get 21 is to 17 is to 12. Now the Anupam share would be 3500 into 21 by 50. We would add all these and 21 out of addition of all these would be Anupam share multiplied by 3500. So we get 1470 as the answer. Now third question, Ashish starts business with rupees 7000 and after 5 months Bhavik joins with Ashish and his, as his partner. After a year, the profit is divided in 3 is to 4 ratio. What is Bhavik's contribution in the capital? Now we don't know how much Bhavik has contributed, we know that Ashish has contributed 7000 rupees. So Ashish has contributed 7000 rupees for 12 months, so 7000 into 12. And uh, we assume Bhavik's contribution to be X, but it is only for 7 months, so 7 into X. And uh, their share, the, their share in the profit is 3 is to 4. So 3 is to 4 can equally be equated. So 3X is equal to 48,000, we get the value of X is equal to 16,000. Now Bhavik's contribution in the capital hence would be 16,000, that is the answer. Now fourth question, three friends rented a shop, Ankit puts 15 tables for 6 months, Birju puts 12 tables for 5 months and Chandu puts 10 tables for 4 months for selling. Now if the rent for the shop is 2375, how much Chandu pay as his share of rent? Now we can clearly take out the ratio, Ankit is putting 15 tables for 6 months, so 15 into 6. Birju 12 for 5, so 12 into 5 and Chandu 10 for 4, so 10 into 4. So the ratio would be 90 is to 60 is to 40, that is 9 is to 6 is to 4. This is the usage ratio for these three boys. Now Chandu's rent would be, we know that Ankit, Birju and Chandu have made, uh, have used this part in uh, the ratio 9 is to 6 is to 4. So Chandu's share would be 5 
4 4 by 19 this would be multiplied into 2375 which is the total rent of the shop so chandu's rent would be rupees 600 now fifth question arun ashu and ankit invested rupees 10000 rupees 8000 and 8000 respectively in a business now arun left after 6 months ankit after 8 months if after 9 months there was gain of 5500 then what will be the share of ashu now we can clearly see that arun and ankit left after 6 and 8 months respectively so arun is there for 6 months so 10000 to 6 ankit is there for 8 months so 6000 into 8 and uh, the tenure ends after 9 months so that means only ashu is there for full period that is of 9 months so 8000 to 9 for ashu so the ratio would be 5 is to 6 is to 4 now we are asked to find the share of ashu so ashu is 6 out of 5 plus 6 plus 4 that is 15 so 6 out of 15 into 5500 that is a total gain so the answer would be ashu share would be 2200 i hope this video would prove useful to you we have tried to cover almost all the concepts and uh, practicing the question from this video would help you reap fruitful dividends thank you